Local travel. Yes, which brings me yeah. to the next one, Andy. Uh, brings me to your neighbourhood, your neck of the woods, mm. uh, Win Tai Bin um, mm-hmm. neighbourhood in District Bin. 1. Now, um, yes, can sir. you just, for our listeners who aren't aware of the area, can you describe it a little bit? So mm-hmm. describe it um, in the sort of so-called normal times before COVID-19 and then compare it with okay. what you're seeing on the ground at the moment. All right, so normal times in Wen Taibin was crazy. It was just nonstop noise, um, a lot of beeping, just, just stereotypical, <laughs> like, what do you think of what Vietnam is? It was like that. Um, and the cool thing about Wen Taibin is it's like an old Chinese, it's an old Chinese kind of area as well, so you hear people speak Cantonese, oh, right. which is kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, which and is you really, speak, really cool. You speak um, Cantonese, right? Yeah. Oh. Yep, that's yep. right. That's yep. right. As you can see, and so it, it's kind of cool just hearing that, uh, especially as a, as a foreigner, I guess, uh, where you're so used to either hearing English or speaking broken English to try and get your point across. Yep. Um, with a mix of like a couple of Vietnamese words here and there, it's kind of nice just to hear like mm. your own mother tongue in a sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, before then it was crazy. Uh, lots of things to do. Nothing really closes, uh, and then now like. Yeah, with the lockdowns, ever since yeah. we had, pretty much ever since July and then up until now, right. like it's been quiet, really, really, really quiet. The only thing you really hear are sirens oh. uh, from ambulances oh, that's depressing. running through the city. Yeah. It's depressing, yeah. yeah. Um, I just went through, you know, like my hem just got locked in because uh, we oh. found out there was someone who is at zero, yeah, oh, no. was a positive case. And right. so we were kind of locked in. I, I, was, I managed to get out. Um, and so I quickly, you know, took some snaps and, and then kind of shared it on my social. And it's like, mm-hmm. wow, I can walk in the middle of the road and, and just, you know. And yeah, that's nothing. crazy. Like, if you, oh, can, wow. you can never walk no. down the street Especially there. at the end where the bridge comes in from, you know, District 4 yeah. uh, near yeah. the Cal- yes. Calmet Bridge, right? There's like an intersection yep. there. Yep. It's so hard to cross that on a bike yep. or uh, on yes. foot. It's near the, uh, for any backpackers listening, exactly. it's, it's near the uh, Pham Nu Lao ah, backpacker right. yeah. area down that end. Oh, wow. So are you still in lockdown right now or is it lifted? Uh, no, it was mostly in lockdown at the moment. Mm. I can still get, luckily I can still get delivery, but I'm doing this like two meters. I've got to step two meters back. And there's like this, you know, if you think about it, for anyone who's watching, uh, for everyone who's listening, you know, if you, if you think about it, there's like a demilitarized type of zone where mm. uh, your delivery driver will drop that stuff there, get sanitized and sprayed, and then they back off for two two meters, and then you're allowed to come in for two meters and grab it and back off. So it's a, it's a pretty funny thing. So imagine if you're having to pay things in cash, yeah. right? Oh, wow. Um, like, yeah, you have to do this weird thing where you step in, you, you put your money on the table, you put a oh, rock wow. so that it doesn't fly away, you what? step back, and then, you know, the delivery driver gives you the goods and, <gasps> and exchanges the money. It's kind of crazy wow. at the moment. interesting. Yeah, well, I haven't been in there for that long, three months or so. <laughs> <laughs>